up everyone? It's your girl Kay Ingram here, host of For Your Future, where I hit up experts to get you top advice on how to survive quarantine. Now, today's episode is all about content. That's right. How do you get the perfect photo when you can barely be within six feet of a person or go outside half the time? Well, I hit up my photographer friend DP, who's going to show us how to do just that. Keep watching. Hi, DP. <laughs> how are hey, you? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I've um, just been working from home with my mom um, in Brooklyn, so. I started seeing a lot of people do these FaceTime photo shoots. So when mm -hmm. I saw you had started it, like started doing it as well, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to talk about this. Yeah, so um, first to say it's not an original idea. <laughs> um, uh, so I have been seeing it on my uh, Instagram as well. Uh, other photographers have been doing it. But the process is different. Um, it's like, say I'm with you, uh, let's say you're the uh, model today, <laughs> and hey, you'll, be <laughs> you'll be directing, uh, I'll be directing you on what to do. So you, I'll, first I'll go through like, okay, where do you get the best light in your house? Is it from a window or is it with the ring light or that you have? So uh, I'll just ask you to take the phone and then position it in a way where we can get the composition right. Um, personally for me, I try my best to not to have the composition not look like as if you were, you were able to take it because then it'll just be another selfie. Uh, so it's incorporating like props. I know a lot of people use plants or mirrors or they use their rooftop to change the set and then just their house. Um, yeah, so there's been, they've just been using different things to incorporate to make it look different than just a regular selfie. But it's a lot of like direction which has pushed me because I know through shooting, that's something I definitely want to work on, on how to direct um, the model on how to pose. So it's like, okay, stay still and then tilt your head this way and then tilt your head that way. And it's like, it's, it's reversed. So you have to like really be able to clearly communicate to the person on how you want the shot to look like. So that it has pushed me there too. The challenging one has, one has been like the when the FaceTime quality is probably not the best. So sometimes it gets really grainy. Um, the, you try to fix the Wi-Fi, see what's going on to make sure you get everything right. Um, so that has been a challenge. Uh, so you have to do a lot of stuff in post to make it look presentable. Uh, so, so that was one of the challenges I had. The, just sometimes the quality is just not your friend that day. It's like, it's like a rainy day. It's like, oops. You can't do anything today. Wait, I feel like this is the perfect segue to like good tips that people should be aware of if mm -hmm. they want to do like a Zoom photo shoot or a virtual photo shoot or maybe just do a photo shoot on their own. So what other mm -hmm. tips do you think from just, you know, the shoots that you've done or just in general that folks can can practice to wanting mm -hmm. to do these kind of shoots? Sure. Um, it's definitely having good Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've seen that. Wi-Fi is very important to have good things to happen. Um, find your light, whether it's your ring light or if you have a window, um, try to face that and um, that's where you get the best light. Uh, use props, props are fun. Um, so mirrors, plants, if you have a breezy type of clothing, sure, why not? Uh, that works too. And um, go in an open mind. And have fun with it because if you go thinking like oh man i kind of want to look like this high quality photo there's going to be a chance of disappointment then you're not going to really feel for it but if you go for it and just like say like i'm just gonna have fun with it you you you, you see the possibilities you could create in those moments awesome yeah low expectations just have fun just you know <laughs> go with the flow <laughs> just go with the flow with it <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, I'm going to be reaching out. Okay. I know you say you're not trying to do these shoots after the pandemic, but I'm trying to get on your calendar <laughs> for real soon. So. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it. because I didn't get to tell you like face to face how selfies turned out. Oh, thank like, you. I don't know what you did with this little like coloring, but I was like, oh, <laughs> let me find out. 
Um, okay, so I have them up on my phone. And 30 photos, which is crazy to me. Like, <laughs> like I can't believe we got that many photos out of that session. Because it felt like literally it was like, oh, yeah, like, turn this way, turn that way. Let's try this. Let's try that. Mm-hmm. I was not expecting 30 photos. So, <laughs> Thank you. You're and um, like, it's one thing to like have the idea, right? Because like I came mm-hmm. to you, I was like, I don't know, let's just try this. I don't know. I feel like the best part of these photos though is like the editing. Like you did do something to give it that look. Like I remember you told me, right? Like to make it look like, you know, it's a little bit more than just a selfie photo, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, what did you do? Because I I see the vibe. I see the vision. <laughs> Um, so I know that the quality wasn't going to be as perfect as, or as good as, uh, out of the camera. So I kind of played up to that where it was, you know, had the edit look like an old time photo or, you know, cameras weren't the best as it were back in the day, but photos still look great. You still looked in your fam, your old family albums. You still look at the old film, um, photos and you're like, oh my gosh, look at this photo. But you probably wouldn't really pay attention to like the, the, whole technical side of like oh it's not as sharp it's not as this so it's like okay play up to that the cameras the phone cameras is not as best as the digital camera so why not keep that uh vibe going so it's really really to edit it into like a lo-fi effect have you been doing any more since we last talked or not really no actually (laughs) um no actually actually, no 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 i did one for my niece in georgia for her birthday Yeah, she turned 10, so, and before the everything shut down, she wanted me to come down and, like, do a photo shoot for her for her birthday, and um, because I, everything happened, I couldn't, so then I was like, hey, let's just do this. Let's just take pictures um, through FaceTime. She's like, how does that work? And then I was like, don't worry, you'll see. So um, so I, I actually did gave her a shoot, too, as well, back in June. I'm, okay, fine. I don't feel that salty that I wasn't the last person you did the photo shoot for. It's your niece. We love it for her birthday. <laughs> Super cute. Amazing. Well, DP, you did your thing. I'm glad to see you're back at work and you're safe and everything is good. And you know I follow on Instagram, so I see your photos. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> no doubt. Thanks, DP. Right. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.